I don't know how, how long could be close to 2,000 years actually. Uh, the church is gathered weekly around the sermon. And we defend that out of our devotion to Scripture, which is right and good. But Israel camped around the presence. And I believe that the Lord is going to help us in, in the last of the last days to relearn a priority of the presence and learn how, in a practical sense, to camp around the presence, to gather around the presence of the Lord and make that one single feature the most dominant feature in our gatherings. I think it's fun to come to church and and start to lead worship and you just have no idea what's going to happen and what's going to show up or how he's going to show up. I think God wants to wake his church up to the reality um, that he wants to visit, like he, that he wants to interact with his people. Um, and that when we worship, when we gather together as a people, it's not meant to be this one-way street where we're just directing our praise and our adoration up to heaven, but he actually wants to um, inhabit that activity, for, you know, in, uh, specifically, our, he wants to inhabit our worship. That the God of all creation, who put the stars in their place, and I mean, that he would be drawn in and moved by a little offering that we have to give, you know, it's huge to him. So, I, I think it's the most important thing we could do. Just, you know, even like I said earlier, because it's the one thing that's completely for him that has nothing to do with us. So the fact that we put that first makes complete sense. Abiding presence becomes much more manifest. And it's in that context, you usually find what the Bible refers to as the, the glory of the Lord. The glory of the Lord is the manifest presence of Jesus. And in that environment, you find the glory beginning to settle upon His people. Those Salem moments happen when the Tehillah praise is lifted up, when there's that spontaneous outburst of praise from the congregation. And it's almost like the band, we can't stop it. The high praise, as Bob Jones says, when there's high praise, that's when the angels come, you know. Um, that's where I think worship plays a major role in the presence. But there's nothing that transforms a life quicker that encounters with the glory of God. And that happens in the context of worship. I think what we have to look forward to in the future is that you have no idea what's gonna happen when we worship. And we don't come with an agenda to, you know, to have something happen. But when we just worship and when we extravagantly give our lives and, and tell Him who He is and tell the nations who He is, He just likes to show up and do insane, crazy things. And, and so I think it's exciting to live in this day and, and, and to expect the, you know, greater things that we've never even heard or, or had in our minds to imagine before.